your stream is in danger. Seriously, without these tools in place, your stream's at risk and you could be losing viewers. But don't worry, I've got you covered. I'm Dubinator, this is Streamwell, let's get into it. Protecting yourself from the slew of trolls that scour the internet is an everyday battle. So it's key to have these tools in place to help you protect yourself from these situations. Let's start with DMCA protection. Well, maybe not protection, but prevention. Now, we've all been to streams that are playing the latest hits by artists and don't care at all about the DMCA strikes. Hell, I've been there and let a song or two slip through my Spotify. I get a bucket and a mop, that's some wet ass. <laughs> However, I do recommend avoiding it for the most part, and here's a couple reasons why. Obviously, the first being that your content won't get copyright strikes. We'll go over that more a bit later. The second being your content can be shared to other platforms without taking a strike as well. And third, but most importantly, DMCA-free music is less likely to contain offensive terminology or slurs. That way, when someone new comes into your stream, they're not feeling offended by the music you're playing. Alright, now back to the copyright strikes. Getting too many copyright strikes on any platform typically results in a ban and your content being taken down. Twitch has a three strikes rule, but strikes don't last forever. Twitch actually looks for repeat offenders. They don't mention how long each strike lasts, but I suspect they last for a while. I don't know about you, but for me, it's just not worth it. There are a ton of great places to get DMCA free music, but I personally use Stream Beats by Harris Heller. All of the music is 100% free to use and it's available on Spotify. He has released tracks that cover everything from lo-fi to EDM. Seriously, go check it out, I'll leave a link in the description. The next tip is a fairly simple one, but definitely a lifesaver when the time comes. I'm talking about disconnect protection. This setting will prevent your stream from completely closing and give your viewers a temporary technical failure screen while you troubleshoot your issues and get back online. This is a must have tool. This tool has saved my ass countless times when my stream has crashed over the past month due to my technical difficulties. For example, if you have lurkers in your stream and it crashes and closes completely, those viewers are now gone. But with the disconnect protection on, they will stay in your stream while you troubleshoot and get back to streaming. To turn on disconnect protection, head to your stream's dashboard on Twitch and open the settings and click on stream. You should see disconnect protection right near the top. Make sure that bad boy is turned on and voila, your stream won't just vanish into the void when your internet crashes now. Another great tool in this settings menu is the low latency mode. This setting will allow for near real time interaction with your chat. It essentially removes as much of a delay between you and your viewers. This is a great tool for streams that require quicker chat interactions like playing games with your viewers or just chatting segments. I see so many small streamers with this setting disabled and then they wonder why their chat seems so delayed compared to their gameplay. You should see the low latency mode just under the disconnect protection. Turn that on and now you'll be able to react to chatters much quicker. Another great tool for protecting your stream is auto moderation on Twitch. If you're a small streamer just starting out and you don't have a team of moderators, I mean who would? It's a must have tool. I'm not going to dive into every setting here, I'll be covering that in a later video. So make sure to like and subscribe so you don't miss it. Under the moderation settings, you'll see a variety of settings you can adjust to make your stream safer. The first being auto mod. This has 5 levels of moderation, ranging from 0 moderation all the way up to level 4, which is probably way too f***ing much moderation. You can also adjust each setting individually for your own custom auto moderator. Auto mod is a great tool for when you first start streaming. It will flag any potential inappropriate text and let you deny or approve it. Auto mod will remember what words you've denied and allowed and gradually learn exactly what to block and what not to block. Back to our moderation tools and you can see we have blocked phrases and permitted phrases. Here you can enter any words that auto mod may have missed or you want to preemptively stop. Now I've seen a lot of streamers put their personal information here in order to stop trolls from doxing them. This does the exact opposite. Think about it. A troll comes into your chat and tries to dox you and gets instantly banned. Boom. All this does is confirm to the troll that they indeed have the correct information and now they will try other methods to release this information. The best thing to do in a situation like this is just to ignore the chatter and continue entertaining. Most of the time, these people are just looking for a reaction, so it's best not to give them one. 
if this person is putting some intentionally harmful things in chat that are trying to dox you or are doxing you, clear the chat and ban them. Explain to your chat why things are happening and why you're doing them but don't let them know that you've actually been doxxed. If need be, put your chat into either emote or follower mode or both, or even sub only mode. You have so many options. If you have a stream deck, you can even link these actions into an emergency button to shut it all down. Now, the best tips I can give you for these types of situations is to remain calm, don't give them the reactions they want, and activate any tools that you might have to mitigate the situation. And it just so happens I have the perfect tool for a situation just like this. Twitch Shield Mode. This tool is so underutilized. It can come in clutch when trolls, follow bots, or even hate raids come into your stream. Shield Mode is like putting your stream into a defensive stance. To open Shield Mode settings, you'll need to click the gear icon on your stream's chat window and under the channel modes, open Shield Mode. This will open a new window where you can adjust the settings. You can customize these however you see fit. I personally turn them all to max. This will stop all first time chatters. It will turn on follower, emo, and sub only mode, as well as slow mode and add a chat delay. With all these things in place, it makes it extremely difficult for trolls and bots to get the reactions they're looking for. And they tend to usually get bored and just leave. Make sure you add shield mode as a button to your Twitch studio quick actions. Or if you have a stream deck, you can actually make a panic button for when these things happen. And trust me, it's the internet. It's gonna happen. If you're still stuck on your path to affiliate check out this video right here i cover some of the key tips you need to know to get there if you learned anything in this video remember to like and subscribe and until then happy streaming